quote from Roy Bennett. Great leaders create more leaders, not followers. Great leaders have vision, share vision, and inspire others to create their own. Uh, my name is Glenn Hegstead. I'm 67 years old as of last Friday. Been training 41 years. Uh, I hold black belts in uh, four different martial arts, two uh, striking arts and then two of the grappling, uh, judo and, and jiu-jitsu. I'm a fourth degree black belt in, uh, in both of those. I initially got into martial art because uh, I was running with an outlaw motorcycle club and uh, in and out of jail for fighting. And um, I'd heard that uh, getting into martial art uh, gave you an opportunity to learn to control yourself. So I was either going to learn to control myself um, by sitting in San Quentin or by uh, uh, making a <laughs> preemptive strike <laughs> with martial art. And I heard about a guy um, named Mark Caceres that taught martial art. It was a, a Chinese system, a Shaolin system. And uh, I went to him, and he was a real straight guy, and he didn't think much of me. So I really had to prove myself by training uh, insane amounts of hours with him. But he taught the, uh, the Holy Trinity, which was uh, meditation, martial art, and yoga. And if you, if you look at Hickson's early, uh, early videos, you'll see that he's also uh, doing yoga and, and breathing exercises and things like that. So those are the, the fundamentals of, of martial art. It isn't just about fighting. Couple ways you can You can reach in there. You can fight the hands, and I can open it and assist it. Or it's sometimes just hang in there and I'll catch it. With that, he's in that knee pit. Sit on the wrist. Push the elbow to the floor. Rotate. He slides down. Slides to the wrist. Works against the elbow. See the back. One, two, three. Another way we can attack the arm, right? We got Americana straight, and then we have that Kimura angle and bent the other way. So, and other, other ways we can get into it. We can just trap it. Sometimes when I trap it, I start to slide, and it's kind of like a reverse windshield wiper. I switch here, and I tuck it under this leg. Sometimes that happens that way, and sometimes it, it's, the, uh, it's the guy who does it. Maybe he reaches between the legs, he's a wrestler, and he wants to go with his Peterson roll here. He'll reach into that leg. It can happen that way, it can happen where I manually do it, and it can happen when I start to look for those first attacks, and I start to attack, and he tries to switch his hand to the backside to avoid those first two attacks. Any of those ways that it gets there. So on this backside leg, it bent, and I'm sitting on his wrist with kind of my knee pit here. So here's how I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna, my hand's gonna come out, I'll go over the head, and I'm gonna cup his elbow. That's the shoulder I'm gonna roll on. As I roll, Go slow, because he's going to have to roll too. I don't want to rip his arm off. As I go to roll, right away, I start to lock the figure forward with my legs, and I want to catch his near knee. And this hand comes over the body. Because if I don't cover or catch this, he's just going to sit up and turn into me. So me holding this figure forward, catching this knee here, and covering the body gives me a little time to sit up. Catch the knee. I kind of rock myself up. Manually stuff it in here. Make sure it's nice and tight. He's grabbing his belt. Right from here, store these grips, and I pull it away. So I break that grip. In here, I put all my weight on my hand, and my outside foot, lift the hips up, and pull his arm. And I'm back. Again, same kind of technique we were just doing. Any of the ways we got there by putting it there, he goes there. Whatever it is, it ends up on this back leg. He's a wrestler. He's probably going to try to go here. If he does, and he rolls me here, that's okay too. Right away, I'm hooking that leg. You can look to attack the collar here too, but I just push the head away, cover, lock myself up. I'm, I'm right back here again. Post. I want you guys to just work the four foot. Here. Catch it, switch sides, swing over the top, up in the elbow. As I roll, don't go from me. I'm going to kick this leg up so I really keep the pressure. Catch, cover, hit. Rock myself up. If I need to break this grip, he's grabbing the belt or something. Just pull it away. 
な。Potential to glow, you know. I, I just do that. Consolidate my reasons, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, thong? My memory's gone. My memory it limits me, homes. No tree huggers 'cause all the lumber's gone. Niggas knocking on wood. Pass through the hood when it's good, and they chopping up wood, breaking up stems till in my brim. With a limp like a pimp, though I'm shaped like a wimp. They put no fear in him. It's just me and the end of my timeline. Flow like a fine wine, smelling like fine pine. Yeah, is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing the winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? I'm Cain and Abel. I murdered my brother 'cause I'm Abel. Murdered myself because my alter ego's so unstable. You get that? If you didn't, just sit back, then crack the six pack. I should be in the gym doing sit ups, trying to get this six pack. But forget that. Where the click at? Where the bras and the cash and the whips at? Where the bit back? Where the bop? Where the bit? Where the bit back? <laughs> I just did that. Trying to focus on my get back, my get up, my re up, my rematch. A pack. Patch of seeds and Apache debris passing through Indian Springs in Las Vegas, my G. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is Medulla Oblongata. Just doing what I gotta. Is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing or winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? That was poetry, huh? <laughs> 